how the J sound got its letter. I'm bored, sighed little I. Let's find an adventure. I can take you on an adventure, suggested Blunt. We can go and hunt for treasure, if you like. <laughs> the letters thought this was a brilliant idea. They forgot that where Blunt went, trouble usually followed. This way, everyone, Blunt said firmly. <laughs> he led the way down a tunnel to the beach, the other letters following. As they emerged from the cave at the end of the tunnel, they saw the pirate ship called the Dinosaur at anchor in the bay. <laughs> the letters jumped up and down calling to the pirates. Jolly Jake, the most cheerful of the pirates, saw them. Jake lowered the rowing boat over the side of the ship and in no time at all came splashing toward them. Do you want to come sailing? asked Jake. Yeah, they cheered and climbed into the rowing boat. Once on board the dinosaur, the letters asked if they could look for treasure with the pirates. We may not find treasure, said the pirate Paul Plum, but we're going fishing and you'd be welcome to help us. While the pirates were sailing, the letter I climbed the mast to keep watch. The wind blew stronger as the ship headed out to sea. Suddenly, the movement of the ship and the strong wind made him topple over the rail. He grabbed on with one end of his stick and bent it over to hold him. But then he was caught upside down, swinging in the wind. Help! he shouted loudly. Jolly Jake looked up. Cheapers, he cried. The letters and pirates gathered round the mast. Pirate Paul was at the ship's wheel. Quickly, he commanded, save him. I'll get him down, said Jolly Jake. Quick as a flash, he climbed up the rigging and pulled I towards him, giving the scared little letter a big hug. Thank you, said I. You saved me. No problem, matey, said Jake. Now, shall we climb down? Back at Alphabet Castle, the I letter told the Alphabet King about his adventure. The Alphabet King had been so worried because the letters didn't tell him where they were going. He thought something bad had happened. But Blunt was taking us for an adventure, the I letter told him. The Alphabet King looked so cross that the letter I wondered whether it would have been better to keep quiet about Blunt. Perhaps it was better not to trust Blunt again, as he seemed to get them into trouble. Anyway, the pirates thought this would make a good letter shape, the letter I said, quickly changing the subject. Jolly Jake wondered if it could be the shape for his J sound. Jolly good idea, said the Alphabet King. We do need a shape for the J sound. I shall name the letter J. Then he opened the book of letters and used his blue pen to write the lowercase J, because J is a consonant. Now for a capital J to start sentences and names, said the Alphabet King. The book glowed as the King wiggled his fingers over it. Then, concentrating hard, the King made pulling movements in the air and clapped his hands. The book of letters snapped shut, making everyone jump. When the Alphabet King opened the book, there was a great big capital J on the page opposite the lowercase letter. Just right, said the Alphabet King. Lucy made the shape in the air with her magic finger to see how to write the letter J so it could hold hands with other letters. Start with the lead-in line, up to the top, and then down the long foot. Curve the loop round and bring it back in the reading direction to make the lead out line. Then take the pencil off the paper before making the dot on the top, just as we do with I, she said. Call the royal painter to draw the picture, ordered the alphabet king. The painter arrived to hear his instructions. When you paint the letters, the little J must hang its tail down into the basement. The capital J stands on the red carpet in the living room, but it is so tall that its head almost touches the roof, he was told. Before the new letters came to life, Blunt was told that he shouldn't take the letters away without telling the Alphabet King first. If it happened again, he would have some time in the dungeon to help him remember.